Relevant data used deeply. Staff and students live the data. I reflect back on my days as an elementary teacher and an elementary principal, and I really always thought I was data driven. I had walls of data in the teacher's lounge or in the staff meetings, and we talked about data. And I really thought that's what it meant to be data driven, that I had a good sense of where students are and where they're going and where they need to go. But I wasn't even remotely on the same level with some of the principals and teachers who are in these buildings that are in our field study. What blew us away was simply walking down the hallway with some of these field study principals. And seemingly every time they would encounter a student, they would ask them and know at recall level, the current reading level of that student, what the target score was by the next interval, whether it was Christmas break or spring break or end of the year, and ask them if they could help in any way in helping them to get there. And at first it just seemed like it was a show that was being done for us as the Reading Now Network team. Like, you can't possibly know that as the principal. But then after they did it a dozen times or 20 times in a single day, we just came to the realization and then the staff confirmed that yes, we do live the data. We know what the reading level of our students are at all times. It's our primary focus and it drives everything we do in this school. And I had to reflect back on myself as a principal and I thought I was data driven. These buildings are doing it to a much greater extent than most. On the star reading test, for marking period two, I got a 5.2, and for marking period one, I got a 4.9, and for fall, I got a 4.5. My favorite thing about reading is um, you learn new words and books. Um, my goal for reading counts is 50, and I have 40 already, so I need 10 more points to get to my goal. And I'm going to do that by reading some more books and taking quizzes on them. We set that goal. All kids at grade level, if we think, okay, this is where we want them in reading by the end of the year, then we say, okay, let's talk about how are we going to get the kids there. And that's where our PLC grade level team meetings come into play. We sit down and we say, okay, how are we going to do this? And we really try to chunk it out and say, okay, each month, this is where we want the kids to be. You know, we know each kid individually because every teacher in the grade level is sitting around the table as we place them on the board and try and organize groups. Um, you know, then as we start looking at some of these kids and we think, wow, they're actually at a higher level for a running record than we feel like they are overall. Mm -hmm. So then we pull in, Kim brings her handy dandy notebook with all of her data with her Discovery Ed scores. We've got SRI scores. So we look at all of that information. We don't just look at one piece of information with a running right. record because we've got kiddos that you know, we're saying, oh, nope, she's at grade level. And Kim says, no, I am really concerned. She's still not, she's not getting it. Let's take a look at some of this other information. Right. Um, so it's not all based on one piece of data. Yeah, and even exactly. for us in first grade last year, we had um, all of our kids at grade level. And then when they took the DE test in second grade, you know, their ELA scores weren't right. showing. So it's like, okay, we have that one piece of them all, like they're right. reading at that level, but what's the part that's missing from getting them to all be at that um, level one and level two? Well, it's nice to have a a variety of different pieces of data also because one student may test well or better on something else versus a computerized yep. testing. So it's nice to take it in, into account all of it mm -hmm. to kind of give us a better picture of really what's going on with the student's growth. Um, and it's also really nice to be able to communicate with all the various staff that's are involved um, in helping this, the students grow. So And this helps us to awesome. know exactly what's skills we need to work on. We can get on right. Discovery Ed and, and pull those probes to work on with yeah. them And you too. said it earlier, intentional. It's intentional, it's intense, and purposeful, intentional and goal-oriented. Yep. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of times, you know, the reading A to Z comprehension questions um, won't reach like the depth of what it is that, you know, the Common Core State Standards want us right. to have right. kids understanding text. And that's right. what's nice about having the different pieces of data too, is it just kind of measures mm -hmm. um, a bunch of different areas because reader, being a reader isn't just reading the words. Like yeah. I just taught today, reading is thinking. You got to be able to think about the text as well. 
looking at the data and saying, okay, this is what our Dibble scores are showing, this is what our RTI scores are showing, this is what um, our MEEP scores are showing, and looking at that and saying, okay, where are we falling behind? What do we need to work on? Okay, it looks like it's going well in your class. What are you doing in your class that's working? Because you know someone over here might be struggling. And I, I think it's it's been interesting because sometimes the people I learn the most from are the people that I'm a mentor to. So there's been times that I'm a mentor and it's a first, second year teacher and I go in, I'm like, that is a fabulous idea. I'm going back and doing it in my room. Taking the steps and ensuring that each day the child is slowly working towards those goals is very important. This is my ZPD finder. ZPD range is based on each student's individual read levels. Our teacher just sit throughout the school year. It shows us where we can read to. I can read all the way from here all the way down to here. We practice very hard so we can reach our goal. So we are constantly looking at our data. We have data meetings every six weeks and the teachers are always setting goals for that next uh, time that we meet and we actually write those goals up on the board so that every grade level can see what every other grade level's goals are and where they actually are. What is this book called? Um, the Humpback Whale. Twenty right yeah. here, and you did it. I see the star, so good job on that.